in a large mixing bowl, add one pound of 80 by 20 ground beef, one small diced onion, one diced tomato, about a quarter of a cup of fresh cilantro, five cloves of garlic, minced, one teaspoon of ground coriander, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one eighth of a teaspoon of ground cardamom, one eighth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon of allspice, kosher salt, and freshly ground black pepper, both to taste. Now, with clean hands, mix until all the ingredients are evenly incorporated. Yo, get the full written recipe at calvinskitchen.com. Gotta wash my hands, be right back. And while the ground meat is marinating, watch this. Step into the charming world of Lebanese cuisine, where tradition meets taste with a hint of charm. We're diving into arayas, or brides in Arabic, a dish central to celebrations. With ancient Lebanese roots, arayas is a blend of Middle Eastern, Mediterranean, and Ottoman culinary elements. Imagine ground meat, lamb or beef, mixed with onions, parsley, and spices cooked in a pita pocket till crispy and juicy. Paired with tahini or yogurt, arayas is a savory, creamy, tangy delight. So here's to arayas, a tasty representation of Lebanon's culinary heritage that keeps being relished. And remember, if you're not eating arayas, what are you even doing? Oh, and one more thing, feel free to subscribe to Kelvin's Kitchen, like, and share this video. And now back to Kelvin. In a small mixing bowl, combine half a cup of tahini. And if you're not familiar with tahini, tahini is a sesame paste. You can get that at most grocery stores. A quarter of a cup of fresh lemon juice. About six ounces of Greek yogurt. Two cloves of garlic, minced. A pinch of kosher salt and black pepper, both to taste about one tablespoon of fresh cilantro and one tablespoon of olive oil then mix to combine feel free to taste the sauce and adjust seasonings to your liking cover and keep in the fridge until needed now cut your pita bread in half go ahead and stuff the pita bread with the ground meat spread out the ground meat evenly as you fill it Right before cooking, brush the pita bread with olive oil. Using a cast iron skillet or a griddle over medium heat, spray some olive oil. Once the pan is nice and hot, cook for about 5-7 to seven minutes per side or until cooked through. Stand up the pita bread in the pan and create a crust on the ground meat, about 5-7 to seven minutes as well. Ground beef internal temperature should be 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And once cooked to perfection, serve with the sauce and enjoy! And there you have it, Lebanese Arias. Enjoy, buen provecho. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. Yeah.